are you this morning? Welcome to Signing Saturdays. My name is Beth Lefeu. Watch my lips and I'll spell it one more time. Beth, can you spell your name? I'll wait. Good, good. To help you to understand about deaf people, I would like to tell you about my deaf family. My sister, who is deaf, was not born deaf. She was sick with a high fever and became deaf after the fever. <clears throat> she is an alumni of Gallaudet College in Washington, D.C. In high school, she met her future husband. He was the captain of the football team. He found work. She went to college. Later, they met again and married. He was born deaf. They have three children. Two are deaf, one is here. My nephew, who is de deaf, works for, let's spell that again, FedEx. My niece, who is deaf, just received her diploma for her associate's degree. And it's associate's degree. <clears throat> She's still in college. My other nephew, who is hearing, is a high-ranking policeman in North Carolina. He interprets for, for church, sometimes for the police as needed. I tell you this because I want you to understand that deaf people are not different from us. They marry, they have children. Sometimes, sometimes the children are deaf, sometimes they're hearing. Deaf people have jobs, they have homes, they like football, baseball basketball, golf. They watch TV, sometimes with captions. They tell funny stories and jokes. They like music. They dance. With music, you can find it on YouTube. You can watch videos. And Many times, deaf people are very loud because they can't hear themselves. I hope one day you become friends with the deaf person. Let's review some signs from before. Father, mother, remember the male signs generally are across the forehead and the female signs are in the lower part, usually off the cheek. So, grandfather, it's another generation. Grandmother. Adult, you take the A hand and make an adult, it's male and female. Parent, it's the P hand. Parent. Baby, that's an easy one. Boy, remember the baseball cap? Boy girl, little color on her cheek, child, children, many children, sisters, and we start with the just touch ones, I did it several times, touch sister, and then sister, same, parents, brother, aunt, it's the A hand, uncle, cousin, could be either male or female, so it's on the neck as a cousin, and that's the C hand. 
friend. We all need a good friend. I don't know if you remember the sign for person. You take the pea hands, and sometimes they just do the open hand, but if you do the pea hand, that means person. So this is teach. You teach something. I'm taking it from my knowledge and giving it to you. Teach, teacher. So it's a teach person. This is the sign for near. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see it. Near. So a near person is a neighbor. And I bet you know that this is police. Work or job. The police have a job. This is boss, supervisor, could be a leader. Like I said, my brother-in-law was the captain of the football team. Captain. Paint. Someone's painting. So any word that describes a job, then you add person to it, it becomes a paint, paint person, a painter. <clears throat> Let's talk about going to the store. Going to the store. It's like you have money in your hand, you're going somewhere. And you're going to pay. You're going to pay with your money. How much does it cost? Crook that finger. How much does it cost? If I'm asking you how much it costs, watch my face. It costs how much? Me. This is me. This is mine. I can say me, or I can say mine. This is mine. Depends again on your body and your facial expression. This is you. This is your. It's yours. It's yours. It's the whole group. It's yours. So with an open hand. <clears throat> I know you've seen me say my name. So what's your name? So if you're asking someone, this is the question mark. What's your name? Happy to see you. You need help. Book. I know you remember book. That one is so easy. Computer. Computer can be done like this, or it can be done with the typing behind it. Let's look at the word yes. Yes. But let's say it's a very emphatic yes. Yes. Again, it's the face and the full nodding of the hand. No. Again, no. No. Maybe there's a child that's, that needs to be told no very strongly so you go, no. And it's the end of it. No. No. Thank you. Again, let's add some emphasis to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe thank you to the whole group. Like, I like you. I like you. I like candy. It's these two fingers that you just pull it. I like school. Sorry. Now, do I look sorry? No. I'm sorry. You see my shoulders raised and my face. I'm sorry. Patient. Let's look at patient. It's the A and M. Let me just slide it across your lips. You might say, be patient with me. You might say, please, be patient, please. Feel. Middle finger just runs up. And I can look at you and say, how do you feel? How do you feel? I could say, you feel OK? It's a difference in the lips and the face. Wish. Remember, it's the sea hand. It just wish. I wish. Prefer. It's like you, you take your hand and just thumb goes up just a little bit. I prefer. This is an ugly sign. Selfish. Who wants to be selfish? Want. You take the five hands, turn them upside down, and just pull them toward you a little bit. Want. How about the days of the week? They're so easy. Monday, you got your 24 hour clock. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This can also be wonderful, amazing, good. You know, it's wonderful, but it's known mostly for being Sunday. Okay, we have many new signs today. We're going to talk about food. This is eat. Let me take your hand, close it up. Eat. But you don't hide your mouth so much. It's more eat. Drink. You want a glass to drink. So you just make a C sign. You see why it's important to know your alphabet? Okay, you use your C sign. Make a drink. Are you thirsty? One finger just goes down your throat. You thirsty? You want some pizza? We did that one before. It's the two Z's. Now, everyone generally likes hamburgers. Got the hamburger. You want your hamburger with cheese? Press it. How about an onion? Crook your finger and make it up by your eye like you're crying. Onion. You want a pickle? You take the pea and just kind of twist it, pickle. You might be saying, do you want a hamburger with cheese, onion, and pickle? And the look on your face is the question. Chicken. Let's go with chicken. One finger and you, it's kind of like the beak. One finger and then you pack your hand. It's like that chicken is pecking. Bacon, just a little bit of piece of bacon. With your bacon, you might want an egg. It's like you're breaking an egg. Sandwich, just put your hands flat together, sandwich. How about some french fries? This is your F hand, french fries. You might want some spaghetti, little fingers in a twist. Spaghetti. I like soup. Make your bowl here. And your two fingers just dip you some soup. This is a potato. It's like you're putting a fork in a potato. Apple. See the A hand? Apple. And I know you know what this one is. It is a banana. Orange. And this will also be the color orange. Orange. Grapes. Grapes. Pie. You want a slice of pie? How about some cake? A piece of cake. Ice cream. And a cookie. I know. I like popcorn. I also like candy. Many people like coffee. This is like an old time grinder for coffee. And this is milk, like a cow is being milked. This is soda pop, cola, coke. You have to ask what kind. That's a soda pop. This is bread. You're slicing the bread on the back of your hand. And this is butter. Would you like some butter on your bread? This is candy, or it's sugar, or it's sweet. It depends on what I say with it. Candy, sweet, sugar. You want some mayonnaise, or some ketchup on your french fries? Ketchup is the Cayenne just dropped. Ketchup. Want some salt? Salt and pepper. Let's look at our colors real quick. This is the sign of colors. Red, like your lips. Change it to a P, it becomes pink. Orange, we already did. Brown, that's kind of like the tan on the face. This is brown. This is white. This is black, like the eyebrow. Black. 
The next four colors are very similar, but they start with the first letter of the, of the name of the color. This is blue. And you just kind of come out with it. Green, yellow, and purple. Someone asked me a question about which hand to use when signing. If, if you are right-handed, use your right hand. If you're left-handed, use your left hand. It doesn't matter as long as you're comfortable with what you're signing. I want to finish by reminding you this is a new language for you. Just think, think about it. A child, maybe three years old, may know about 150 words. You have studied about 150 words in four weeks. Wow. Remember to practice. You can review this video, the spell video. Let me see if I can do that again. V I D E O. But this is movie, so we're going to say it's a movie. You can review the movie again. And I will see you next week on Signing Saturday.